What a weekend it was weather-wise. Certainly still a little bit chilly out there. And when I say a little bit, I mean, you know, of course, it's wintertime here in Kansas. And Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission joining us today to help warm us up, get the chill out of our bones, Charlene. We sure do. And I love soups during the winter, but there's nothing quite like when it's frigid outside yeah. mm -hmm. to warm you, you up. You can't beat it. That's right. And this, I love this recipe. It is so easy to make. And if you have made chicken for maybe Sunday dinner mm -hmm. and you have leftover chicken, this is the perfect recipe mm -hmm. to have with it. In here, we have a little bit of margarine, which is a soy product. We have carrots, celery, and onion. And you can see the carrots there. I'll hold them up a little bit. I just, to do a little something different, mm -hmm. I just got these um, from the grocery store where they're the little cut carrots. I like and that. And then they're coarsely thin. chopped yeah. it a little bit more so they're a little bit thicker yes. and a little bit different shape here. So now what we're gonna do, you have the soy flour blend there, okay. and we're just gonna add one tablespoon of that, and that is gonna help to just thicken it a little bit as we go along. So we just stir that in, and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna let you add our chicken oh broth. Oh boy, and that's this a big is, old thing. Okay, everyone stand back. <laughs> and this is four cups, very good. And I'll stir it, and you're gonna add two cups of cooked chicken okay. that we just coarsely chopped. All right. Add that There's to your it. Chicken. Yeah. You've got one cup of edamame. Okay. Oh, yes. Add that, another soy product. Mm -hmm. And then you have our mushrooms. And this is fresh mushrooms, half a cup that we've coarsely chopped. You have a little bit of salt and some uh, sage uh, for some extra flavor. That's all there is to it. And we are going to bring that to a boil so it's bubbling and cook that for about 15 minutes to cook our vegetables, and then we'll add the dumplings to it. And coming up in our next segment, next hour, around 6.20, we're gonna show you how to make the dumplings, right? We are, they'll all be ready and be ready to finish. All right, this recipe and the finished recipe of what we're gonna be uh, featuring on our website, or your website. KansasSoybeans.org. Okay, thanks for that, Charlene. We'll be right back. The latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.